Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today it's time to put on your poncho because we're going to get moist. You're watching Cigars Daily. Get more out of this in all our videos when you join the community on Cigars Daily Plus. And for this video, I just lit up the brand spanking new Placencia Almaforte Natural Robusto size that features 10 year aged leaf. This is exactly the kind of cigar where you wanna have your humidor's humidity dialed in because you want it to be in damn fine condition when you go to light it up. The foundation to an excellent experience with any cigar starts with great humidification because all cigars are is dead rolled up leaves. That is the key ingredient. That's like all they're made out of. And a lot of the flavor that you're tasting comes from oils that these leaves contain. In fact, cigar makers take incredible painstaking efforts to grow leaves so that they contain the nature of the soil and the sun and the amount of rainfall. And it gives you a very unique experience from leaf to leaf in the blend and from blend to blend on the shelf. So once you get your cigars, the way you care for them is going to play into your experience a huge deal. So I want to take you guys through humidification, the whole topic here, and let you know what is used to humidify different types of humidors or which type of humidification might be best for you. It's something that actually has a lot of different tools to use. And so we're going to walk through them in this video, but I want to ask you to drop a comment. How do you humidify your cigars right now? Truth be told, if you get like a basic desktop humidor, maybe a wooden one or an acrylic one or something like that they often come with something like this it's like a little like a stick or something like that these are i guess cool because they're about the shape of a cigar so they don't take up a lot of space some of them come with this round puck humidifier and these are like the green foam inside is that green foam that your aunt nanny used to stick flowers into and make fake flower arrangements that everybody knew they were fake and she liked them anyway so everybody just kind of tolerated them but at the same time these things i'm not a huge fan of them because they can and grow mold inside and like, that's the last thing you want growing on your cigars. So what we're going to take you through is some great and very clean ways to humidify your collection. And with no further ado, let's jump right in. I want to kick this off by talking about a range of humidity, the RH or relative humidity in, in your humidor. There is an appropriate range and there's so much about cigars that is like cigar etiquette that doesn't really matter. It's like smoke them how you want to and enjoy them how you want to. That's like the purpose. But when it comes to this issue of humidity, there sort of is a right or wrong way to do this. And so I'll give you a couple insights into different parts of the cigar world and how this is done. Now, the first thing you got to know is some people will talk about lower humidities. And when I say lower in the world of cigars, that's around like 55%. And there is a time and place for a lower humidity like this. In the aging rooms in a lot of cigar factories, they'll use some lower humidities because they're trying to reduce the moisture in the leaves before the cigars get packaged up in box. Some people swear by 55% humidity is the right and only way to store Cuban cigars because they're so special and different than all other cigars. I think that's a little bit of malarkey, but I will tell you this, when it comes to lower humidities, it's something I found myself favoring, especially in recent years, as I feel like I get more flavor out of cigars when I light them up, as opposed to having cigars that are a little bit wetter. Now, when I talk about wetter, that's sort of what feeds into, I guess, your your regular consumer range of, of humidities. Most people, if you go into a cigar shop and you go up to the clerk and you're like, what's a proper humidity for my humidor? They're going to tell you it's somewhere between 65% and 72%. And that is a pretty damn good range. Some people will talk to you about a magic 70-70 rule where you should keep your cigars at 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 70% humidity. And that's the perfect one. The truth is there is a huge matter of preference here and actually a pretty big difference between 65% and 72%. Over time, as you train your palate, you're going to notice that 72% cigars feel softer, a little spongier or squishier, and the 65% ones will feel a little bit drier. But when you light them up and smoke them, and that's the part that really, really matters, 
I found, like I said, that the ones a little bit drier, closer to that 65%, are giving me a lot more flavor. And when they get like to 72%, I feel like flavor notes tend to get a little bit muted. And so this is another place where you can feed into the comments and I'll ask you to drop a comment. What is your ideal humidity or are you just getting into this and you're still sort of trying to figure all that out for yourself? Now, as far as what to use to humidify your humidor, there are a lot of different solutions out there. Cigar smokers have been working at this for a long damn time. So I'm gonna show you some of the most important ones here and I'll mention a couple of others along the way. But first I wanna talk to you about sort of that desktop humidor, okay? This is like probably the most common type of humidor out there, although electric humidors are growing in popularity like crazy right now. So I see those popping up more and more. If you've got a desktop humidor, obviously your big constraint is space. You don't have limitless space to store your cigars, but also you're trying to humidify a smaller space, which in theory is easier if your humidor has a good seal. And if you notice that your humidity is really difficult to dial in, it may be a good sign that your humidor doesn't have a great seal. I've got videos on that as well. But for a lot of people, something really simple like a shot glass filled with distilled water is a pretty decent way to humidify. Now, here's the thing. Putting a little, and like a gallon of distilled water is pretty affordable. I always have boxes of gallons of water around the Cigars Daily HQ because there are different humidors uh, within the building that I use just distilled water in. This is basically going to maintain your humidor around 70%, again, depending on how well it seals. So what you get is a simpler way to humidify. You add a little distilled water. When you notice it needs more, you add a little bit more. And like I said, a gallon of distilled water at this moment is not terribly expensive, but it doesn't really give you the ability to customize your humidity if you've like driven your preference to the point where you're like, I need 66%. So in that case, you might use something like a Bovida pack. Now, Bovida is great because while you can use it for a desktop humidor, they make small packs that sometimes you get, if you go to a shop, they'll throw them in the bag for you. For you. And then that's a great way to humidify your humidor. Take one of those, throw it in your humidor. It's kind of a set it and forget it. The real benefit of Bovida is that it's a two-way system and you get to pick your humidity. This is a 69% pack right here, but they make them in 65% all the way up to 72%. And they even make these like 84% ones that are just for seasoning your humidor. I like these again because other than picking your own humidity, you're gonna get the opportunity to have a two-way humidification system. So what they say is that this will humidify, this particular pack will humidify a humidor up to 69%. Now, if that humidity goes above, then the pack will actually reabsorb some of that humidity uh, until it sort of levels out at 69%. And that has to do with the solution that they keep inside of here. And a lot of people will ask, can I recharge these? The answer is, Bovidus says you shouldn't, but you absolutely can. Bovidas are also really great because they come in various sizes. This is a 60 gram. This one right here is a 320 gram. This is probably the kind you'd want to use in like a larger electric humidor or something like that. Uh, and this is right now, I think, as I'm making this video, probably the most popular way to humidify your humidor. Like you throw them in there, the cigars can be touching the packs. It's like, it doesn't create a problem. It's just like put it in there and you set it and forget it. And that's, you want your humidor to be as much of a set it and forget it thing as you can. So you're not thinking about it and worrying about it all the time. But there are a couple of other ways to humidify that are really popular. If, even if you got a larger humidor, some people, I mean, a shot glass isn't gonna do one of those electric humidors. A lot of electric humidors will come with like a container that looks about like this Pyrex dish right here. And some people will throw water in these. Other people will even put a sponge in them. For whatever reason, a sponge seems to help the, the humidity distribute a, li a little bit more evenly with a little bit less effort. And so putting a sponge in a, in a dish of distilled water, that's not irregular at all. It's something that they even recommend in some of the uh, manuals that come with those electric humidors that you get. So a popular thing you'll see when you go to a humidor is a dish with a sponge in it. At the same time, for a long time, but even before Bovida was around, there was a way people would humidify their humidors with propylene glycol. Now, this right here is a special stuff called Cigars Daily Magic Juice. 
It's a propylene glycol solution and a propylene glycol container that when this is empty, basically contains like what looks like a handful of a few beads in the bottom. But when you put the glycol solution in there, those beads swell up sort of like putting a gummy bear in a pan and putting some water and salt in there. It like blows up to a huge size, supposedly, or so I've seen on internet on short videos that I watch during my spare time or while I'm supposed to be working, doesn't matter. This thing is going to hold your humidity right at about 70%. So again, with this, you don't get the same like control over the level of humidity in your humidor, but a lot of people find this to be the perfect solution for them because again, these gel crystals inside are gonna hold on to this propylene glycol, which again is basically a thickened distilled water. So it's gonna release that humidity over a much more controlled period of time to give you a better sense of humidification and moisture in your whole humidor. I, As I visit my friends who have humidors, I see a lot of these. And I see a lot of them, especially with people who have mid to large size cabinet humidors, sort of like the one over my shoulder right here. These are a great way to control humidity through a larger space because if you get two or three of them, you put them on different levels and it'll give you a better like more even humidity through the humidor. Now they make a smaller one that's for a desktop humidor as well. And some people just find this to be their preference. And again, it's a reusable thing. You get some propylene glycol or some magic juice, you throw it in there and then the thing takes care of the whole situation for you. It's got this slotted top. So you could even put like a little spider in there and the guy wouldn't suffocate or anything like that. This has been a very popular way to go. And again, it's gonna control it right about 70%. Now there is one other solution I, I have to mention in this video before I can move on, and that is cat litter. You heard me right, cat litter, kitty litter, the same stuff your cat pees in, the clumping kind. I don't even know, know if it's clumping, but there is a specific type of like crystal gel cat litter that works not dissimilar to sort of the crystal jars over here that some aficionados absolutely swear by. You can read about this in forums. I think they even have a specific brand they recommend. Uh, there's also a specific type of gel bead that you can get off Amazon. There's other kinds of solutions that people use to specialize for themselves. But if you want a sort of out of the box solution where you don't have to do a bunch of reading and a bunch of studying and dialing it in and everything, it's, they're basically variations of the crystal gel jar, whether you're using beads or cat litter, but yes, some people do that. Now, the ultimate in humidor control comes in an electronic humidifier with a remote hygrometer. Now, there's a brand that makes these called Cigar Oasis. They make a fantastic product that you can put in. A, I have one in this humidor over my shoulder. It's basically a shoe box and the thing's got a fan on top. You fill it with distilled water and it blows the fan into the distilled water, which blows out the moisture. It's also got a connected to a remote hygrometer, so it will actually turn itself on if the humidity drops down too low, and it will turn off once it reaches the desired humidity. So again, a great solution there for a larger cabinet humidor, but really one of the key features, and, and this is important only if you're shopping for something right now, if you're looking for an electric humidor, the mid-tier humidors, some of them are now coming with a built-in humidification system. And that's not a bad way to go at all. I have one in my house, I've got one in my office. They're, they're built into the actual humidor and they regulate themselves. They pump out humidity. So you basically set it on the screen and you say, I want my humidity to be 66% and you hit go, you tell it what temperature you want and then all you ever have to do is add water. It's a very simple way to keep your collection in tip top shape. And again, this topic of humidity is such a big deal, partly because there's so many different kinds of humidors out there, and partly because it's so important to enjoying the cigars that you buy with your hard earned money. And for that reason, there's one other thing you gotta have. If your cigar humidity is sort of like having gas in the car or having bait on your you know, fishing hook, then having a digital hygrometer is like having a gas gauge in the car or maybe having the fishing hook. This is something that I'm surprised at how many people I talk to who have had a cigar collection for six, eight months, maybe even a year. They're asking questions about humidity and the first thing I ask them is, do you have a digital hygrometer? Do you even know what the humidity is inside your container? And they don't because they don't, they've never even thought of getting one of these. 
There are lots of ways to go, but a basic digital hygrometer, which by the way, much better than an analog hygrometer like this one up here, a digital hygrometer is gonna tell you exactly where your levels are at. This one right here tells you temperature and it tells you humidity. That is so important because that kind of data is gonna let you know if you have an issue and which way your issue is. Are your cigars over humidified or are they under humidified? Is something else, are you having mold? Those problems can stem from having too much humidification. Even cigar beetles. These things can come from sudden shocks to humidity or temperature in your humidor. So if you see temperature and humidity jumping throughout the day as your AC kicks on or off, or maybe the thing is too close to a window and the sun comes up, suddenly you got issues and they're easy to diagnose once you start to understand this topic and get the solutions that you're really looking for. So I'm going to ask you again to drop your comment. How have you been caring for your collection and keeping it in the shape that is perfect for you? What is your desired humidity? That humidity that when you pull your cigar out, you're like, oh yeah, the cigar feels perfect and it's exactly the way I want it when I light them up. And of course, I wanna encourage you to check out this video on the community on Cigars Daily Plus. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily and I will see you in the comments.